Hello vinyl community. I have a vinyl finds for you. Um, yes. <laughs> Pe pets always want to enter the picture. Um, yes. Yeah, so I have a vinyl finds for you. Um, these were actually a series of, of uh, three uh, small um, vinyl therapy finds. Because <laughs> work has been absolutely crazy. We're shorthanded. And so I, I've just felt the need to at least do a little bit of digging. Um, uh, not, not much, you know, just uh, three visits over the last, I don't know, two or three weeks. Um, so let's get started. All right. <clears throat> uh, these first two were from uh, the record store. Oh, before I get into that, I, let me just quickly show some tapes I picked up. Um, it's always nice to pick up some blanks. Some blank audio cassettes. Whoops. There we go. <laughs> some blanks there. Uh, there's three of those. <clears throat> I think these ended up being like under 90 cents. So that, that was pretty great. Um, <clears throat> those were from the uh, Mary S. Roberts Pet Adoption Center thrift shop. Um, on that visit, that was literally all they had for me. <laughs> But, you know, it's better than nothing. Um, these next two cassettes were from um, uh, the record store. Um, yes. So, first we have Peace Together. This is, uh, oh, what do you call it? A, a sort of benefit album. Uh, it says, all money raised from the sale of this record will be invested to benefit the youth of Northern Ireland. So, uh, I don't know if you can pick up the artist there. But, um, basically U2, U2 featuring Lou Reed, um, Billy Bragg, um, with Andy White and Sinead O'Connor, My Bloody Valentine, Pop Will Eat Itself, Blur, Therapy, uh, Rolf Harris, uh, Curve, and, yeah, there's others, but... Those are the, the bigger names that most people would recognize. Yeah, so I'm pretty excited about that. Yeah. And the other one, uh, I, th I wanna say I used to have this album years ago on um, uh, CD, but I was glad to find this for 99 cents at uh, the record store. So it's David Crosby, Thousand Roads, and it has the, um, the song Hero, which is a duet with Phil Collins. <laughs> yeah, glad to pick that one up. All right, now to the vinyl records. Okay, uh, these first two were from the record store. This one brought back memories, because uh, back in probably 87, 88, I had this album on, I wanna say CD, um, I don't think I had it on cassette. I think it was CD. Um, <clears throat> I could be wrong about that. But anyway, I was at that time I was big, big, big into new age music. It was it was almost all I listened to. Um, so we have David Arkenstone, Valley in the Clouds. Um, I discovered him, I believe. I want to say on the VH1 show called New Visions, which I actually discovered a lot of great music on there. Um, yeah. I was so excited to find this. I did put it on the other night, and, you know, I'm popcrackle.com, so <laughs> you would think I wouldn't mind pops and crackles, but there, there's, there's an extent where it's just unbearable, and especially for this kind of music, New Age, I mean, you don't want a bunch of pops and crackles on it. So I was very disappointed. I'm gonna try um, a slightly deeper cleaning and see if that helps. And if not, <laughs> you know what it means. It's gonna get the wood glue treatment, which I haven't 
I haven't had the best luck with. Um, yeah. My, my results with the wood glue uh, are limited, but um, only very moderately successful. Anyway, but I was thrilled to find that nonetheless. This one, very thrilled, especially for 99 cents. Yeah, Eddie Grant going for broke. I, it was funny, I, I, I started to put this on um, when my wife was here. <laughs> she just, I don't know, her her musical tastes are, are pretty limited, <laughs> let's put it that way. But she, she kind of, she kind of groaned a little bit and so I, I took it off and then I, I put it on later when, when she wasn't home. Um, which was better because then I could pump up the volume, so but very thrilled to add that to my collection. Um, I would I would love to get the one with, of course, his big hit, Electric Avenue. I mean, we had that, I think on cassette, way back in the day, but, oh man, I love Eddie Grant. Anyway, I'm discovering I really like Eddie Arnold. So this is The Best of Eddie Arnold, Volume 3. Yeah, nice. This one I'm pretty excited about. Um, I don't have much, or maybe any. Huh, I, I don't have much or maybe any uh, Bing Crosby in my collection. Um, I just noticed I'm putting my pinky out. <laughs> That's very hoity-toity of me. <laughs> um, anyway. Yes, so Songs I Wish I Had Sung the First Time Around, Decca Records. Yes. <clears throat> uh, these, these were from Savers, that's where they were from. Uh, I, I discovered I really, really like the Brothers Johnson, so to find another, another one of their albums so quickly, um, I was very, very thrilled. Um, and it's kind of funny because I had never seen this one before. And now, just recently, I I've seen it twice. And of course, the first time I, I didn't hesitate to pick it up. So, uh, yeah, I love their music. Now, I, I do have a few items, uh, or at least a couple items of reggae in my collection. Um, I don't know if Eddie, well, I've always thought of Eddie Grant as, as reggae, but based on what I heard on that Eddie Grant album, I don't know, it didn't strike me as being reggae, but I know there's different subgenres of reggae as well, so who knows, but anyway, um, but these, I believe, are reggae, so adding to my reggae collection, this is Bunny Whaler. Protest. I love the artwork on this one. That is awesome. I love that. Lyrics on the back. And Third World. Um, this is Journey to Addis. All right, and then I made one uh, one more stop at the record store. Um, this was my most recent visit, actually. Um, right. This band, I had to do a little bit of research. Chase, and this is their self-titled album. I'm not seeing a copyright on there, but anyway. Um, it's, it's not considered one of their better albums, but from what I sampled on RDO on my cell phone, uh, when I was uh, debating whether I should get this one or not, I really liked it. It's, it's um, a lot of emphasis on trumpets because the the main the main guy um, where is he? Bill Chase. Um, 
he he's a trumpet player so and way way back in the day i used to play the trumpet <laughs> i was never very good mind you but um yeah but i was willing to give this a shot and and this was from the dollar bin so you know <clears throat> these next two also from the dollar bin I'm very excited about because I've discovered I really, really, really like Arlo Guthrie. So this is Arlo Guthrie, Hobo's Lullaby. Very excited about this one. Look at that. Oh. And this one, <laughs> the cover on this one is just so cool. Uh, now we have another Arlo Guthrie, Running Down the Road. Trying to get rid of, there we go. Get rid of the glare there. I apologize for my pit. <laughs> yes. <clears throat> yeah, that's it. Well, you know, I... Uh, I know I'm supposed to be on a hiatus, but, you know, this was over, you know, like, three weeks. Um, but I just, sometimes I just get to a point where work is so crazy, I just I just have to do some vinyl digging. Um, I figure it's, it's a better, um, uh, I don't want to call it a vice, but a, a better addiction than, than uh, you know, drinking or doing drugs or gambling or you know anything like that so it's harmless <laughs> anyway thank you so much for watching and i will see you next time